been a good morning so far here in the junction pool, and I've already landed a delightful 18 pound salmon to my fly. I fished through the length of the pool and quickly had hold of another fish in the tail just opposite Green Bank. Unfortunately, it was but a brief encounter and it didn't stick. My good friend Jeff is having a run through the pool now and is working his way downstream. The spay is in perfect condition today and we're lucky to have the junction pool running at an excellent height. The water is clear and the temperature is ideal for salmon. Jeff's patience has paid off and he's hooked a salmon about halfway down the pool. Jeff is an excellent salmon angler and he soon has this fish under control. Lucky for us, Ballandale head gilly Steve Brand is here and he quickly positions himself to net this fish. This one is not going to get away as Jeff manoeuvres and steers the fish towards the waiting net. Steve shows his professionalism and methodically slips the net under the fish. That's how to do it. This fish is a stunning example of a fresh space salmon, bright silver and not a mark on it. It's difficult not to be optimistic with the spay in such a great condition, and we are confident the pool will produce more salmon today. I've only had a couple of casts, and I already have hold of a fish high up a neck of the pool in the fast water. I can tell by the way it's playing that this is not salmon, it's definitely a sea trout. I can see flashes of silver as it struggles close to the surface to get free. Space sea trout are such a beautiful fish, and I don't mind catching them one bit when I'm out salmon fishing. They are just stunning, and they play such a big part in terms of fly fishing here in Speyside. Well that's a great start. This one was well hooked, but I quickly removed the hook and send him on his way. I'll keep working my way down to see if anything else is in a taking mood. I've got about halfway down and another fish has grabbed the fly. I've stuck with the same yellow snelder pattern all morning and it's not let me down. I'll need to let Martin Ritchie at the Tay Salmon Fly Company know that his flies have again helped me to get into some fish. I think this is a new pattern for him, so he'll be delighted they're performing well here on the spay. This one's definitely not a sea trout, it's a bigger fish for sure. I took the fly in the seam at the far bank exactly where you'd expect salmon to be lying. It's playing hard, so I'm going to have to be patient and try my best to work this one in. The fish has taken the fly a long way out, and there's a lot of line between me and the fish. This is not a scenario I like, because there's so much line out it becomes harder to control the fish.
Over my shoulder I can see Jeff has heard the commotion is heading towards me with the net. That's one less thing I have to worry about. This is a feisty one. I've managed to rein it in a bit, but it's having nothing to do with me and is pushing hard to get back over to the far bank. I try to bring it in, but it fights hard to get away, pulling more and more line. This one is not giving up without a fight. It's pushing hard to get up towards the neck of the pool. It's holding itself in the fast water, which is going to tire it for sure, as you'll have to fight my line and the pace of the water. He weakens as I had hoped, and I manage to recover line and get him in closer. I tighten the drag on the angel to stop him running again. I've got him where I want him now, and Jeff is in position, poised with the net. He senses Jeff's presence, and even with a tight drag setting, he's able to pull some line, but I quickly bring him back in. He's close now, but he really does not want to come in. He's fighting hard to push away from the waiting net. Surely must be close to the end. I thought I felt him tiring, but he's away again. This fish will just not give up. The resilience of these spay fish is to be admired. Such strength. Eventually I get him close and Jeff is waiting. I bring him round and lift the rod to get his head up, and Jeff calmly slides the net under. It's over. He's ours. That was an incredible fight. Considering this fish is what, about eight pounds? I would have expected a tussle like that from a fish twice the size. He was well hooked and was never going to get off, but of course that's easy to say now he's in the net. Let's get him unhooked and get him ready to go. Every fish from the spay is so special, and it's important that we get this fish fully recovered before we let him go. Well that was a great morning, with Jeff also having lost one in the tail, we end the morning with three salmon and sea trout landed, and another two fish lost. That's a great return on any Scottish river in this day and age, and we're absolutely delighted. I'll head up and fish the other pools now at Ballandalloch, and see if I can't get into another salmon on this fabulous river spay. If you enjoyed this presentation, please remember to hit like and subscribe to the channel.